get yourself killed. Neither of us want to see you go hollow. I want to see me go hollow. Actually, I am hollow. Um, but yeah, Andre is kind of like your best friend in the game. Um, you're going to be using him for a lot, especially if you plan to do um, a lot of upgrading. Um, you can make weapons kind of like the Drake Sword, or a lot that are better than the Drake Sword, in my opinion. So with that being said, you do want to be nice to Andre. I wouldn't recommend killing him off. Um, and in terms of NPCs, he's actually one of the harder NPCs to kill. Um, so yeah, so we do have 3,000 souls. I could have leveled up. I am going to wait, because I do want to show off um, a circuit, but we need to clear out a little bit more. Oh wow, I missed that terribly. Oops, that was sloppy on my part. And there you saw I took half my da- oh shoot. <laughs> there you saw that I took half my damage, or half my life in damage. Uh, that was not only because it was a stab, but it's considered a counterattack, which I haven't gone over. If you're able to attack your opponent, um, and I recommend trying to do this safely, this is where the rapier, the spears, the pikes come in play. Um, if you're able to attack your opponent while they're in the middle of their attack animations, um, you can get what's called a counterattack bonus damage done to your damage. Now this is something, uh, specifically it's kind of harder to do. It's a, um, a harder thing to do um, I find that parrying is a lot easier if you're going through that much trouble. There you can see we're getting Titanite Shards. Um, this isn't true, but a lot of the enemies in this area, in this Undead Parish, um, and especially these armored guys, all have a chance of dropping you a Titanite Shard. So if you do not want to pay 800 per, or if you're trying to you know, get as many as you quickly can, um, coming through this little circuit here that I'm kind of going to show off, um, can be an easy way to farm for them. I'm specifically looking for some pieces off of this guy. This guy has some some gear that I would like. Um, but counterattacks, yes. Um, it's easiest to do with the uh, like the rapier, the spears, because you can attack while your shield is up. So that means you can interrupt their attack animations and do a little bit of increased damage that way. I'm not a big fan of that strategy. So here you see I got shot in the back. If you're wondering by who or what, there is a guy up there. <laughs> Spellcaster specifically. And that's the penalty if you come in this way. Now, if you come along the edge here, I don't think the Spellcaster can hit you or his accuracy goes way down. But you want to make sure that if you're coming in through the church the direction I came, to either clear out these soldiers to the right, because otherwise this guy could be a pain in your butt. But I'd recommend not fighting this guy in the chapel if you can manage it. If you don't mind taking your time and pulling him away, um, and fight him where you're comfortable. If you're not fight comfortable fighting him on a stairwell, because look at the size of that shield. There I got very lucky that I ducked under that attack frame that he just did. But this guy will chase you for quite a bit. And uh, same thing, if you try, if this guy's giving you a lot of trouble, um, as long as you have a 100% physical block shield, that doesn't count because he used that attack. But you can actually block this guy. Oops. There I ran out of stamina. That's why he was able to uh, get through that attack. But, like most enemies, if you just keep your shield up and take your time between attacking, just because they have their back turned to you for a moment doesn't mean you should go all out on him. But that's where the Drake's sword just made very quick work of him. Um, that guy can also drop some of his gear as well. So if you need some better gear, you might want to farm up some humanity or pop a bunch of humanity, which I no longer have equipped, um, before coming here and fighting him. But here we get the Firekeeper Soul, which is going to be very useful. Um, I'm not going to go down and just do that yet. I'm going to clear out this grinding circuit real fast, and then I'm going to show it off once, and that will be the end of this video. But there we go, we got the Balder Leggings. Um, again, I'm building a dex build, so this is actually going to weigh me down more than it's going to help me. 6.4 pounds. 
Uh, but as you can see, a lot of the defenses go up. And then it also shows off my legs a little bit. So I am going to do that for now. Um, I still have a mid-roll there. And that's all I really want. This room is a giant trap in itself. So what you see there is the chan channeler, is what that guy's called, starts dancing. And now his trap is actually set. Now, however, I've already gotten his attention. I'm not going to... There he's doing magic damage, so that's why we can't block that. And I believe his trident also does have a magic modifier on it. Here, this is me knowing his attack pattern, so I just dodged it quite easily. If you're not comfortable with it, just keep your shield up. It will do damage to you, but it won't do a lot of damage to you. Um, most shields this early in the game all have magic modifiers of some sort um, to give you a little bit of defense. Uh-oh. Headset cut out. Here you're going to see that these guys are glowing, and that can actually be a very bad thing, because what that Chancellor did when he danced, he buffed all these guys' attack. So as long as they have that aura on them, these guys are going to do a lot of damage. Um, this is where having poise on your character is going to be a very big, noticeable thing, because you're probably going to get hit at some point. And here what this is allowing me to do is uh, tank a hit, and because I'm playing with the Drake Sword, jeez, I'm having the worst time. Normally you can hit three or four of these guys all at the same time. Again, this is actually where the Spear, the Rapier, or Rapier shine the most. But don't be afraid to run away. Just keep slowly pulling them back. Um, this is where my hollow shield is also providing me a lot more defense because of the 100% block on it. Um, and there's also an appropriate way to block as well, which I'm going to try to show off in this next enemy. But we came in through that corner. That corner is the proper way to go. So we're just going to go around in a circle. So this corner has some treasure in it. And then this corner actually has a very hidden passage that is very good to know about. But there is a proper time to block, so if you hold your block button like this forever, as you can see, my stamina is refilling up slowly. Now, his rapier is not designed to drop my stamina at all, so he won't really guard break me. However, the appropriate way to block is that you just block whatever he's about to attack, um, and you're given a little bit more leniency on this, because as long as you just start to see him coming in for the attack, you just pick up your shield, but then you drop your shield, that way that you regen your stamina. So now I'm done playing with him. But that will allow your stamina to recharge. That also goes for PvP as well. If you find that, you know, people keep guard breaking you and you're not sure why, um, it could be that their weapon is super upgraded, um, meaning that it's doing a lot more damage, taking away a lot more of your endurance. However, it could also mean that you're just holding the guard button too long and that you don't have enough endurance to soak up the blow. So endurance can actually be a very huge thing in this game. Here we get some humanity. And then here you'll see a door. And if you're wondering why you can't open it, the game just doesn't give you the option, which I thought was a little unfair. However, you can see light behind this door. It kind of looks like there's something behind it. So all you can do is break it down, and then you get a note for a prisoner. What they mean by that? Oh, there's a prisoner up here. Oh, still human, are you? Then I am in love. Could you help me? As you can see, I am stuck without recourse. Now here, if you actually press triangle, you can talk to him further. Please, I have duties to fulfill, and I will reward you handsomely. Well, I am certain you stand to benefit. So that is what our mystery key is used for. Um, I don't believe that the master key unlocks this, but it might. I actually... I've never really tested that out. I've always gotten Mystery Key. Thank you. Yes. Sincerely. I am Knight Lautrec of Karim. I truly appreciate this. And I guarantee a reward. Only later. Yes, very sorry. Your reward will have to wait. I've just been freed. Allow me some time. 
So he has a very dark, handsome sounding voice. <laughs> Uh, but that is it for this zone, so next time I'm going to show you what to do with the Firekeeper Soul. I'm going to show off a shortcut, and then I'll show off a grinding circuit, because the only last place for us to go is up that ladder, or ladders, and the boss door is up there. So, thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope some of this is helpful to you. If you have any questions or comments, let me know, and until next time, ta-ta.